I greet you from the land of South Africa. Greetings to the land you are on, the waters and the mountains. It is an honor to be together with you all. Caring for the earth is an ancient and most worthy responsibility. And we all have a part to play in its destruction, rehabilitation, and restoration of our sacred mother. Sacrifice means to make sacred. Mother Earth continues to be sacrificed in order to fulfill our own emptiness, our own feelings of unworthiness and scarcity. If we continue to feel we are not enough, we overconsume and overproduce. To deepen in our care of her, cherishing her and participating in her renewal is essential for the care of the planet. Mirroring the health and wholeness through practices that foster compassion, creativity and purpose brings us into alignment with the abundance the Earth Mother shows us, not the scarcity of not enoughness. Mother Earth teaches us we are enough, that our birth is validation enough and we belong everywhere. On this Earth walk, I am I am earth and I have a body. <laughs> I reflect that I have enough, I am enough, and I am worthy of being here. Maybe showing our children how to love the earth before trying to save it is a legacy worth leaving. In these present times, there is a deep calling now from the earth and we are left where we rightly belong, waking up to the call of the sacredness of the mother and the reality that we are in this together, that when I am me, then you are you. And then when you are you, I am me. That is the very, very short version of Ubuntu in South Africa. We have been aware of this calling for some time. And yet these last few years has sent big wake up calls over consumption, over producing pandemics, war, and natural disasters, leaving in its wake a scarcity of mammoth proportions. Earth teaches us about nourishing, nurturing, belonging. It teaches us about community and it sends deep blessings to us all around peace, reconciliation and deep rootedness. Our only value worth having is self-worth. To mirror her is to care for ourselves and for her. The sacredness of our great mother is inextricably linked with sacred reciprocity in a community. So when we work together, we sow seeds together, we grow together, then we contend a sustainable future, then we are living in abundance. When we are brought together through shared compassion and creativity, we are motivated and inspired to bring our gifts to the community. There's a palpable power when we thrive as a whole. Home is everywhere. Maybe then we are moving toward returning us to a culture of belonging. I have never been to your part of the world and from here, Africa, where they say we all came from, I bring the message from the earth that together, how might we support each other to bring forth this deeper life alive within us so that we all thrive? When we thrive, not just exist, we are better able to be part of the greater whole, essential in our times. We are in this together. When we sow seeds of new beginnings and bear fruit for the next generations, we are laying a strong foundation where our dreams for a more sustainable world can take root. In the absence of revered elders, let us return to the elder great mother earth for wisdom, for peace and unconditional love. And let us provide sacred reciprocity with the prayer, how do I serve you, Sacred Mother, today? How do we serve you 
together. My blessing for us all from the earth today is the networks that connect us all. From the depth of the Great Mother, may it bring nourishment and nurturing, abundance and deep blessings. Thank you for joining me. It has been an honor.